Hey there friends, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be looking at a story, it's called Beach Fun. We're gonna be reading that book together and kind of looking at the main idea. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So this story is called Beach Fun. It's written by Marvin D. Bodner. Um, and it's from readingadoz.com. So our focus question here at the bottom says, what can you do at the beach? So go ahead and think about that, friends. What are some things you do at the beach? Maybe you've been to the beach before. Um, maybe you've never been to the beach, but you've always wanted to go. Um, so what kind of things can we do at the beach? Got an idea in your head? Let's see if it comes up in our story. So we need to know some words before we get started here today. The first word we need to know is beach, right? B-E-A-C-H, beach. That's uh, really important because our whole story is all about the beach here. We're also going to see the word kites, K-I-T-E-S, kites. I want to draw your attention to that one because the word kites has a silent E at the end. K-I-T-E, kite, um, has a long vowel I and a silent E at the end. So kites is just the plural of that. We also have the word castles, the word shells, um, the word swim, and I'm going to have you sound this one out for yourself, D-I-G. What word do we make when we sound out that word? Good, that word is dig, so it's D-I-G, D-I-G, dig. All right, so that's what we're going to be working with today. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first page. So our first page here says, we swim at the beach. Um, we see the word swim and the word beach. Those are both words we took a look at at the beginning. And the others are sight words, right? We have the sight word we, W-E. We have the sight word at, A-T. And we have the sight word the, T-H-E. So our sentence all together says, we swim at the beach. Let's go ahead and turn our page. Now this sentence looks similar to the one we had before, but one of our words has changed, our second word, right? And we can use our picture to help figure out what it says, and we can help sound it out. So go ahead and take a look at this sentence, see if you can figure out what it says. Good, our sentence here says, we dig at the beach. So the words we, at, the, and beach all stay the same. But the word swim, right, we had we swim at the beach, and it became dig. We also dig at the beach, and we can see that happening in the picture. Go ahead and sound out the sentence on this page. Good, this sentence says, we run at the beach. So the sentence uh, we, or the words we, at, the, and beach still stayed the same. And the only thing that changed was what they're doing, right? And this is gonna hold true throughout the story. Now we're running at the beach. We can see the picture of the children running and we can sound out that word. R-U-N, or -er uh, n, run. We run at the beach. Now, what are they doing here in this picture? We can still see we have the words we, at, the, and beach. Um, but what we're doing has changed, and this word is not as easy to sound out. So what does it look like they're doing there in their picture? Yeah, it looks like they're having a picnic. They're eating. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out uh, what that word is based on what we think they're doing. In the word eat, what's the first sound you hear? Good, that first sound is e, right? And if we take a look at this word here, E-A-T, right? We see this word is eat. We can assume that it says eat because we can see the picture of them eating and this word starts with an E. E-A together says E and then we see the T um, made by the letter T at the end. So this sentence says, we eat at the beach. Let's keep going. What are those girls doing now? Yeah, they're playing with a ball, right? So if we take a look at this word, what do we think that word says? Go ahead and sound it out. Good, that word is play, right? P -o -a, P-O-A-Play. The A-Y there is working together to say A, and we have our p -o sounds at the beginning. We can also look at the picture. We can see them playing with a ball. We can recognize that the word play starts with the sound P, and the word we're trying to sound out also has a P at the beginning. So we can assume that it says play. So our sentence here says, we play at the beach. Now check it out here, friends. We've added an extra word. So on this page, we had one, two, three, 
for five words. But when we turn the page, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six words. So it's really important to make sure we're reading each sentence one word at a time and not just flying through it and guessing at what it says. So we still see the words we, at, the, and beach, but now we have these two other words in here. Now based on what you see in the picture, what do you think one of those words might be? Yeah, I see a lot of kites in that picture. What's the first sound we hear in kite? Yeah, the first sound is k. Does one of these words start with k? Excellent, that second word does, yeah. So we talked about this word at the beginning, kites. K-I-T-E-S, we talked about how it's a silent E word. It has the long I and the silent E. So it's a word we looked at at the beginning and it starts with the k sound. So we can assume that this word says kites which means we just need to figure out what this word says. We can try sounding it out, and we can try using context to help us figure out what it says. So what do you normally do with kites? You fly kites, right? We fly them, good. So the word fly, we hear the sounds f and o at the beginning, fly. And this word here has the letters F-L-Y, fly. So we can assume that that word says fly. So altogether, our sentence says, we fly kites at the beach. This page also has six words on it. What does it look like those girls are doing? Yeah, they're kind of looking for shells, right? And the word shells, we hear the sound sh at the beginning. Now we know that sh is made by the letters sh. So we can probably guess that that word says shells. So then what are they doing here? What is this word? We could try sounding it out, f-i-n-d, find. Is find a real word? No, find isn't a real word. But what do we do with shells that starts with an F? Good, we find them. So we can uh, sound this word out if we change that I to a long I sound, f-i-n-d, find. Yeah, so we find shells at the beach. What are they doing here? Good, they're building sand castles, right? The word build starts with b, b, b. So we can look at here, it says we, b, b, b. Ah, that probably says build. We build something at the beach. Now we said sand castles in our guess, but this is only one word. And it starts with a C. C says k. So maybe this word is just castles. Maybe it doesn't say sand castles. Maybe it just says castles. Let's try it and see if it makes sense. We build castles at the beach. Ah, that does make sense. Plus we looked at that word at the beginning. And that's the end of our story. So we're actually gonna take it all the way back to the beginning, read it through front to back one more time, and then we'll go and do our main idea activity together. So again, this is Beach Fun written by Marvin D. Bodner. Go ahead and read with me as we go through the story. We swim at the beach. We dig at the beach. We run at the beach. We eat at the beach. We play at the beach. We fly kites at the beach. We find shells at the beach. We build castles at the beach. And that's the end of our story. So now we're gonna hop on over to Seesaw and we're gonna work through this together, discovering our main idea and our details. So friends, the main idea in the story is the big takeaway. If I asked you to just tell me what happened in the story, you'd probably tell me the main idea. Details then support the main idea. So there's smaller parts of the story that we can use to help supplement that main idea or help tell more about it. So if I asked you what was the main idea about our story, Beach Fun, what would you say? Good, I would probably say things we do at the beach, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my text tool and I'm going to write doing things at the beach. Because that's what our story was all about, right? It was listing out different things we can do at the beach. And I'm gonna put that in our main idea box. Now we have four detail boxes around the sides. What are some details from the story you remember or specific things they did at the beach that we might be able to write down? 
Let's look back at our story and see if that helps us remember. What are they doing on this page? That's right, they're flying kites. Is flying kites a detail from the story? Absolutely it is. So let's go to Seesaw and I'm going to write flying kites. Then I'm going to put it in my detail box. What's another detail you remember from the story? Good, let's check back in the pages again. Yeah, what are they doing here? That's right, they're eating, right? They were kind of having a picnic. So I'm going to write eating food. And then I'll put that in my second detail box. That means we need two more details from the story. Let's look back and see if we find something else. We have some kids running, some kids playing, finding shells. I think that's a good one. Why don't we write that down as a good detail? So I'm going to write finding shells as a detail from our story. And I'll put it here in our detail box, which means we just need one more detail to help us round out our um, page here. If I turn my page in my book, I see that they're building sandcastles. So I can copy those words, build castles, and put them into my detail box. Notice, friends, how I'm using the same language from the story so I don't have to try to come up with a spelling on my own. I just copied the words build castles because it's a detail from the story and it was already spelled for me. So if you're not sure how to spell something, you can always look back in the story to help find those answers. So our main idea here was doing things at the beach. Four details we came up with were flying kites, eating food, finding shells, and building castles. There are lots more details we could add, right? There was more pages in the story. We saw kids playing and running, as well as doing other things as well. So if you chose different details, that's awesome. We would love to see those written out as well. Speaking of Seesaw Friends, let's talk about what it is you're going to be doing today. So in our Seesaw activity, it's going to look like this. Your job is going to be to write the beginning sounds for each one of these pictures, and the directions are here on the page as well. So you're going to look at the picture and write the letters that make those beginning sounds. So this is a picture of a moon. You would write the first letters from moon in the space underneath. You'll do the same for bib, pie, ball, balloon, and bed. You're just writing the beginning letters, not the whole word, okay? So we see how the picture up here of the butterfly B, B, butterfly. The first sound they heard was B, so they wrote the letter B. They wrote it as a capital letter and a lowercase letter, okay? So just writing the first letter, not the whole word. Your code word today is beach. What else? So our code word is beach. You're going to come down here and write the word beach, B-E-A-C-H. That code word beach, you'll write it right there on the line, write your beginning sounds, and then click that green check mark to turn it in. Good luck today, friends. I'm sure you're going to do an awesome job. I hope you enjoyed our story, Beach Fun. We're going to be doing another activity with it next time, and I'll see you all then. Rock on, superstars!